Hello, our marvelous mathematicians. So welcome to day one of our virtual learning. So some of these lessons are going to deal with skills that you have already learned in class. Uh, some of them are going to be newer skills. So starting with this first one, it is dealing with Pythagorean theorem. So if we remember with Pythagorean theorem, the formula that we will use is this a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, so now our first triangle, you are given the two legs. So remember with the right triangle, there are three sides. The two shorter sides are called your legs, and then you have your hypotenuse, which is across the right angle. It is also your longest side. Okay, so our first step, and this follows along with the, uh, the page that has the actual example on it. We're just going through and explaining it. So first step, we are going to start by writing out the actual formula. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Then we're going to go ahead and identify our legs. So this is a and b, and these are the values that we know. Okay, so knowing that a equals 5 and b equals 12. And remember, if you flip those around, that's okay. We'll get the same answer. So a equals 5, so I would have 5 squared. b equals 12. 12 squared. Alright, now from here you're going to go ahead and actually square these numbers. So 5 squared, 25. 12 squared, 144. Okay, so our next step is to actually add these together. These are the known values. 25 plus 144 is 169. Now sometimes it helps to actually turn this around, but you definitely do not have to. Just know that it is equal either way. All right, so from here, you are going to go ahead and find the square roots of both of these sides. Now, of course, you can use your calculator. 169, so you're finding the square root. Square root of 169 is 13. Okay, and then that cancels out, so then 13 equals C. All right, so then if you were asked in this situation, what is your hypotenuse equal, or what is the missing side, you would say that C equals 13, where your hypotenuse is 13 units. All right, so now notice over here, it's still a right triangle, which is what Pythagorean theorem deals with. However, in this situation, you know the hypotenuse, but you only know one of the legs. Okay, so in this situation, we it, it tells us this is our missing side, which is our B, so which makes this one A. And then this, again, since it's across the right angle, this right here is going to be our C. All right, so we always start with writing out the formula. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay, so then we just identified our A equals 9 and our C equals 15. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and plug in those known values. So then A being 9, so that's 9 squared. Then B, we still don't know, so we just say B squared. C, we know is 15, so then we would have 15 squared. All right, so from here, you're going to actually go ahead and square these numbers. So 9 squared, which is 81. 15 squared, which is 225. Now the difference between these two situations over here, notice that you added the legs together. Well, since you're missing one of these legs, Instead, you're going to solve an equation, and your first step in doing so is to subtract this 81. Now remember, if I move that 225 over, there wouldn't be left any, anything left on this side. So then I couldn't solve the equation. So instead, I'm going to move it over here. So I have 225 minus 81, so that's going to be 144. Then we just bring down what we don't know. All right, so now from here, our last step is always to find that square root. Okay, so that goes away, so that cancels out, so now I have b equals, and again, you're welcome to use calculators, so the square root of 144, which is 12. Okay, so on this one, if you were asked what is your missing side length, you would say, well, I'm missing a leg, and that leg, b equals 12 units. All right, so hopefully this explains those two examples. Thank you guys for doing such hard work. Um, and then you now have a couple
practice problems at the bottom of the page. So if you want to go ahead and work through those. There are also the online activities and the videos that give extra resource if you have any more questions. All right, have a wonderful day.